What's up and welcome. My name's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today we are in Guangzhou, China. So the last time we were in China, we visited the skylines of Shanghai. We also went to Chongqing for some spicy Sichuan street food and Xi'an for a massive halal food tour. Today we are in the capital of Cantonese cuisine here in Guangzhou and we are going to be here for the next few days and the goal is to make a comprehensive set of videos for you guys to enjoy Guangzhou. It is early morning here in Guangzhou and we are going to have morning tea which also is known as yum cha. It is a way of life for the people here in Canton and it basically is a brunch that revolves around dim sum. We are at a beautiful restaurant for dim sum today called Dian Du De. This is a restaurant that is famous for having over a hundred different types of dim sum. The first thing you're going to do at any yum cha restaurant is be asked what type of tea you want. We chose our favorite, which is also the most basic tea, which is tea guan yin. After that, she will pour your first hot of tea for you, but then you will be required to pour it yourself and it is required basically to drink a ton of tea with dim sum. Every table is going to have a hot pot of water on it and the second thing you do after you pour your tea is to wash your dishes. So we're actually just gonna take a little bit of hot water and pour it in our bowl here. Give those a little swirl and then you can just pour this right into the community bowl in the middle. Our dim sum has arrived and it's time to dig in. Cha Shao Bao, a fluffy steamed bun stuffed with sweet barbecue pork. Har Gao, a crystal clear dumpling packed full of shrimp. Chicken feet braised with Cantonese spices. Shu Mai, these beautiful open top dumplings overflowing with pork, shrimp, and crab roe. Lor Mai Kai, sticky rice with mushrooms and chicken all wrapped up in a lotus leaf. Chong Fun, ultra thin rice batter steamed and wrapped up with shrimp and Chinese crullers. Dan Ta or egg tart, these gorgeous little custard filled pastries. One of my all time favorite dim sums is the Cha Shao Bao. Let's try this out here. Oh God. Mm. The texture of that is honestly like a cloud that is super fluffy and then packed with that sweet barbecue pork. Let's try one of these Har Gao shrimp filled dumplings. Mm. Mmm, those are some super juicy dumplings. I can't believe how much shrimp they've actually stuffed inside and those shrimp are nice and firm as well. So next we're gonna try the very famous chicken feed. Mmm, so there's actually not that much meat on the bone. You kind of just eat around it. But what you can taste is the really strong Chinese flavor. It's absolutely delicious. Next is this beautiful xiao mai and have a look at that. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh my god, that is so buttery, so juicy. Next up is this beautiful Lor Mai Kai and I'm gonna open it up. It is a glutinous rice cake wrapped in this lotus leaf and as I open it up, I can already smell how fragrant it is. Wow, look at that, that is beautiful. Mm. All that flavor is coming from that lotus leaf. And this one is actually stuffed with chicken, mushrooms, uh, salted egg yolk. So it has tons of different flavors deep inside. We are absolutely stuffed and just washing everything down with a little bit of tea. This restaurant is awesome. They have so many different types of dim sum. That I definitely recommend you come here and try it out and order some of the dishes we tried. I have to say my favorites were probably the Chong Fun and the Cha Shao Bao. So let's have some more tea and then we'll finish off with our dessert. Oh wow, those are so delicate. Those are ultra flaky and that custard on the inside is definitely not too sweet. Very, very smooth, velvety, creamy. Finished off at the dim sum restaurant, we are absolutely stuffed. We just jumped into a taxi and we are heading to explore a market called the Qingping Market. So we are at the Qingping Market. This is a huge medicinal, Chinese medicinal market here in Guangzhou. It's one of only a few actually official 
medicinal market in China and it's the only one that's in a metropolis such as Guangzhou. You can find everything here. I honestly can't identify everything but I've seen interesting things like uh, deer, hooves, dried seahorses, all kinds of different mushrooms. It smells really incredible. It's also a really cool place for photography. A lot of the buildings here are pre-colonial and it's one of the only areas with pre-colonial buildings. So we're gonna keep exploring this market. What do you think of this market? This is insane. Half of these things I've never even seen before and the smell is just incredible. It smells amazing. We spotted a little roast meat shop on the side of the road. There's quite a big line, so we jumped in it and we are gonna order up some chashu. We have our box of roasted meat and you can get this all over Guangzhou. It is a staple of this region and this is a Cantonese favorite. We have the cha su, which is these beautiful pieces of roasted marinated pork rubbed with honey and spices and it is nice and juicy looking. So let's give this a bite here. Oh man, oh that is tender, wow. That is nice and sweet from the honey and ridiculously soft. There is kind of layers of fat. So it's lean meat and then fat and then on the outside, it's not crispy, but it's got a little bit of a bite to it from being roasted at such a high temperature. This is awesome, super sweet and delicious. Mm. Oh man. Finish off with that Cantonese roast meat. That is always a favorite of mine. And we are done exploring the Qingping Market. This place is absolutely massive and great for photography. So I think now we are going to head to have some traditional Cantonese desserts. Have our dessert and this is called shuang p9 and what it is is a double skinned milk so the way that they make it is really interesting they actually cool steamed milk and then peel back the first layer of skin that forms on the top remove the milk mix it with some egg and sugar and then make custard and then put custard underneath the first layer of skin let that cool again and it forms a second layer of skin and check this out you can see it has quite a thick layer of skin on the top we got one version that is cold and then one version that is hot so let's try them both in okay let's break into this and you can see oh it is quite thick the full way through this is the cold version and that looks awesome let's try it out mm. Mm. oh it's really good that is extremely light kind of airy and fluffy i can't really distinguish between the two layers of skin because this is the cold version and it's kind of custardy the whole way through it really reminds me of the egg tart we had this morning but man that is refreshing and delicious mm. time to try the warm version i think this one is steamed a little bit to heat it up so let's try that mm. Mm. oh yeah that is super creamy I'm not sure if this place does it, but traditionally they use buffalo milk for that extra fat content. Man, that is some super creamy double skin milk. 
That was a nice little stop for some dessert. This place is called Bai Hua Dessert Shop and they have hundreds of different kinds of desserts. We went with the most classic of Cantonese dishes that is the double skinned milk. So I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break before we head back out tonight for some dinner. Back out for dinner and we are going to have clay pot rice. There's a restaurant right up here. It's called Wan Ching Clay Pot Rice and we are gonna order some up and I am hungry. Have our clay pot rice there is all kinds of different kinds you can order we yeah. ordered one with beef and egg and some beans it looks it looks absolutely incredible and it's served piping hot right directly in the pot the clay pot that it was cooked in so this definitely requires you to mix this up a little bit you don't want to let it sit too long otherwise the rice will uh, start to stick to the side of the pot so mix this around and man that smells absolutely incredible All right, it is thoroughly mixed and time for us to dig in. I'm going to grab a piece of beef here, some rice, and there is a little bit of egg and some bean in there as well. Let's try that, it's piping hot. Mm. Oh wow, oh yum. That is super satisfying. It just tastes completely home cooked. There's all those Cantonese spices going on in there and really it's all about that rice. The rice is coated with a little bit of sauce and it starts to get a little bit crispy from cooking in that clay pot and that's what makes this dish so good. This is quite a simple dish but really just enjoyable because it's about the way that they cook it that makes it so unique and delicious. That rice is sticking to the side of the clay pot so well. The beef is nice and tender and then those beans give it a nice fresh crunch. This is just like a home cooked delicious meal. Mm. The best part is at the bottom of the clay pot. You can see here that crispy rice on the outside which is completely stuck and kind of burnt to the side and it's got a crazy smoky flavor. So let's grab some of that and dig into that. Oh man, kind of tastes like burnt popcorn but really kind of sweet from the sauce that is soaked into that rice and nice and crispy. Okay guys, that is going to be it for today's video. That is our first day here in Guangzhou. We've got a few more videos coming from Guangzhou for you. And like I said earlier, this is sort of like a comprehensive guide for you to visit these restaurants. So if you check the description down below, you will see all the information for ordering the food that we ordered and where you can find these restaurants. So we hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you're notified when we post a video. And we will see you again very soon from China. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Wow, like I said earlier, this is the largest fish market in China, one of the largest in the world, full of all things from the ocean. That's awesome. uh,